Uh, hi everyone. Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, as is traditional, I'm opening up each stream with just a background animation of one of the early puzzle, early game puzzles. Um, this one actually, this animation actually, this solution to the puzzle I actually put together specifically for the purpose of the stream because the solutions I had were all kind of intricate and hard to parse and this one I wanted something that was a little bit easier to read so uh hello Heart of Aquamarine uh, good to see you here um right let's get into it So, if anyone has any suggestions right from the start, uh, go ahead and let me know. Actually, one moment. Uh, there is a new feature. Uh, ah. Hi, Nate. Um, there's a new feature in uh, Twitch which lets you put stream markers into a stream. Antidepressants. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so, thing I was saying. There's a new feature in Twitch which lets you put stream markers into a stream, so you can divide the stream up later for, like, here's the part where it's playing the game and so forth. So, just hit the stream marker. Uh, and we are making our first puzzle, which uh, is going to be some kind of antidepressant. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, what's it? They called it melancholy or something? Like the, the, the... I'm, I'm thinking about the name and we need to figure out what it does. Okay. Well, what are the mind-affecting compounds we have so far? I, 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 uh, yeah. So, I think what we're, I think what I'm probably going to name it is going to be something riffing off of melancholy in terms of, like, this is a anti-melancholic or something. Um... So, Vitae is, uh, oh, thank, thanks, uh, Heart of Aquamarine, really good to hear. Okay, right. So, I feel like Vitae on the outside of a compound is... Like, Vitae and Moors on the outside of compounds affect, like, the physical person. Um, although, no, Life Sensing Potion is a circle with Vitae and Moors on the outside and salts between. I don't know. Um, Vitae definitely seems like going to be kind of central to it. Um... It shouldn't really be based on alcohol, I think, because that would, like, not really be helpful. This is supposed to be something which people can have uh, and be able to do things. So alcohol would be kind of counterproductive. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we are kind of out in space right now. You're suggesting, like, Vitae Air Fire? Do we want this to be, like, a liquid antidepressant? Or, like, powder? Something you would press into a pill? I feel like it's probably going to be oral antidepressant. And, yeah, like, either you eat, like, pills or you take... Uh, doses of liquid. 
in whatever we're doing, Vitae is going to be involved. Uh. Hmm. Representing lithium. Uh, I agree Mercury makes sense as part of a thing representing lithium. Hmm. I should probably read up a little bit on old-timey alchemy between that this stream and the next stream just for like better inspiration uh So the voltaic coil used like lead and fire and salt. Maybe fire and salt or something? Fire and water. Triplex bonds, I think of triplex bonds as being about making highly unstable compounds, uh, things that either burn very quickly or explode. That doesn't seem appropriate for a, um, for medication because it tends, like medication, you really want that to be able to last a while in like, uh, the pill bottle or whatever. You don't want that to be. Um. Oh. Sorry, what's the connection between... Are, are you saying a connection between a fire triple bond and the lithium concept? Or like what I built on the screen? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think we want the, I think we want the Vitae as part of a chain as opposed to sticking out on the outside. Just kind of a gut feeling. So, hmm. Unstable in excitingly energetic ways. Gotcha. Um, so I think 
whatever it is, we want it to be relatively stable as it stands. Hmm. I'm going to take inspiration from one of the the uh, journal puzzles in this game is Silver Caustic. And I was actually looking it up before... I was actually looking it up before the stream. And, like, Silver Caustic is... Um... Don't know if this, it's like silver caustic is. I forget what it's actually called, but like there was a thing that was like lunar caustic because silver is associated with the moon, as you might guess from the symbol. Um. And like it was. Like it wasn't a caustic in the sense that like we talk about caustics now, or at least not to the same extent. It was. Like, people use it to fight diseases and stuff. So, let me just go ahead and build it in the corner. Um, like, the the silver caustic that was in the, the... In one of the puzzles was... Yes. Salt, salt. It looked like this. This was the silver. This was the silver caustic that they made. So, like, like what I'm thinking with this little arm is to kind of imitate that kind of thing. Like this was like uh, something which would. I think people like put it on. The only detail I remember is, like, someone putting eye drops in, that contains silver caustic into the eyes of babies of, like, parents who had gonorrhea as a way of preventing blindness. And, like, they use antibiotics now, but, like, that's kind of where it falls in. And, like, that's where I'm getting this line from in my head is, um, I don't know if that even makes sense. But, like, that's... Just where that concept came from in my head is the the mercury, fire, water, salt line in the silver caustic in issue one of the journal. So, like, does that make any sense in this context? Yeah. Yeah, I remember it had a nitrate in it. So it's probably silver nitrate. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that actually makes sense. That might be more like... I don't know. Um, Mind-affecting stuff. So, well, let's go through it real quick and look at mind-affecting stuff. It looks like... Like, Vitae and Moore's connected to salt. Actually, like... <sighs> structures like this seem to turn up in a lot of the things that are, like, using Vitae and or Moore's to create mind-affecting materials. Yeah. I think both the life-sensing potion... And the eye drops of revelation have this kind of structure built into them. So, like that might. Maybe I'll start with this and then try to add something to it to kind of represent a. Maybe I'll just go with the thing that I had before and connect that to it, and it'll be something like that. 
Um, so you have this sort of mind-affecting thing connected with this kind of fights infection thing, maybe. Three of that shape around a triple bonded something? For a fire triangle? I don't like the idea of that many triple bonds in the structure. <sighs> Let me put in, like, a triple bonded pair and actually maybe just maybe four of the things around a triple bonded pair. those are supposed to be salt around a triple bonded pair That way, it's mostly something else, but it does have that unstable element at its center. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of including the triple bonds in this. I think I'm going to leave out the triple bonds. Like, I think this as a central part, like this... This is, I think, I want to go with this as a central part. And then everything else. Maybe I'll take like half of that stamina potion from the beginning of the game. Or have a couple of these attached to water like with the health tonic. So as opposed to it being a health tonic, it is a mental health tonic. Um, so, so this is the health tonic. And so the health tonic variation, I'd replace one or more of these waters with this um, Vitae. And this is the health potion. And I would give these something like this or maybe drop one of them and have some structure like this involved so those are a couple thoughts one based on that um, health tonic and one based on the stamina potion um No. So, that's a couple possibilities. Um, I could go with something. This is maybe a little bit of 
copper. Thoughts? So, uh, go ahead and give me some thoughts on why copper? Oh, just seems like a good metal. I mean, it is. And, uh... I mean, it is a nice metal. Hmm. Oh, that was my last cup of tea. I have to wait until after the stream and make some more. Alright, um... Hmm. Yeah, I definitely, like, I should just have, like, like, look up a bunch of things and, like, write down notes on each of these atoms from a alchemy perspective. like this idea actually I wonder if I should just leave it like this just real simple like because you have that arc and you also have another arc and they connect together I don't know I just something about this shape I just sort of aesthetically enjoy I'm uh, flipping back and forth through my notes, uh, trying to decide on things. I mean, for, for this, I'm just going to give people salt, because... Like, I'm not trying to make... Unless I have a theme that I'm going to, where it's like, oh, this is someone trying to do X with Y, then I'm not going to, like, try to make things more complicated than they have to be. Or, if, like, I just can't fit all the mol all the different atoms I need in four slots. Then I might shenanigans she she around. But I think I'm just going to give them salt for this one. Because they have to turn everything into salt anyway. Um, if I wanted to be a little bit silly, I could, I could give them, like, bi-stabilized salt. And then they'd have to play games with stoichiometry. But, meh. Uh... I guess salt is probably not rare on Twitch. I will agree. Alright. I'm... Okay, this is just, like, literally me going, like, Hey, what if I did this? But, um... Like, this is the classic kind of distilled water. And this is the classic kind of... We're using Vitae in a potion to make a kind of mental effect. How do people feel about this silliness? It is, uh... Ever so slightly amusing to me, but I don't know... 
I don't know if that's... Are we... <sighs> okay. So that's two votes for it's neat looking. I'm just going to roll with this. I think. Because, like, it's got the, t the, the main thing that I came up with looking through the puzzles, which is this pattern. And the water makes it a liquid for easier consumption. And this is a weird shape that I haven't seen before, so I think that feels fun. Um, does anyone have a better name for this than anti-melancholic? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's an interesting idea. If if I want to go shenanigans, I could start them off with some distilled water. And you would have you would use three distilled waters to make one of these. Ah uh, have a good dinner, bye bye. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to roll with this. Like, distilled water makes sense as you're making a medication. You want your starting point to be pure. So you distill a bunch of water and then use that directly in your alchemy. So let me go ahead and put this together. Okay. Right. Okay. And then, completely by impulse, I have given myself kind of a mean problem. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to stick a marker in here so that we know... comes the solving this puzzle part. All right. I think it makes sense to just go ahead and snip off one salt from each of these molecules to start with. Hmm. Ting. So this arm moves this ting ting and it's, wait, no, it's going to be pointing down like this. And I want it to be pointing across like this so as to make these two parts. Okay.
Okay. Well, okay, so what the heck am I going to do with... Oh. Yeah. Because I want to... Okay. Okay. So this gives me the first... Ting, ting, ting. Okay. Like I'm thinking in advance here of how I'm going to move things around to get everything where I want it. So... That arm gets to repeat. Actually, I am going to do the spins first because that will reduce the amount of area slightly. Uh, right. Hmm. Okay, all of this is definitely building towards an output somewhere off this away so okay hmm That would be a neat way to build it, like one water like this, one water like this, and then cut off that water. And then the third water atom, you just... I don't know. Like, I'm thinking of, like... Something like this, because then, wait, no, this is pulling everything that way, so I can't, I need to get this out of the way completely in order to, alright, well, let's assume that an arm somewhere out here gets I'm going to go ahead and keep building it the way I'm doing. That seems like a good way to do it and might be easier. So if I restart, then I'll restart that way. Um, Actually, I think I am going to restart and do it that way because this is starting to look messier than I like. Um, 
so grab turn. So I have a bond. No, I can't break the bond at the same time because I want to add a bond while I'm down here. Maybe I'll just like, rotate once like this. Okay. Well. <sighs> Maybe I'll grab this one while this guy's moving things around and go salt it. Go turn it into salt and break it up. Well, I've got a starting point. So I've, I've, with Nate's suggestion, thanks Nate, I have got this central line of water and I just need to add these two to it. If I set it up like this, I can add both of them in to this side because arm two can grab and rotate this thing. Okay, so now it's looking like this is going to end up down here. Wait, wait, I know exactly where this is going to end up because I'm going to grab it here and rotate it to here. I like setting up the map so this is kind of horizontal. I also like setting a map so that this the product is in the canonical arrangement, but that's kind of random. Um, horizontal is good for the GIFs. All right. So between these two things doing their thing, I want somebody to come up here. Uh, grab one of these uh, and take it away. All right. Wait. 
holding it by the bottom. So I think that would cut off. this one mm, no I I would like to so I'm trying to figure out how I should move this one so that Okay, so I grab this, I swing it up, that turns it into salt. Slide. Maybe spin. like this, then someone else grabs this and takes it away. This gets swung to. Shenanigans. This is so full of shenanigans, but I guess that is entirely appropriate. Um,
Wait. Okay. Uh, wow. This is okay. So as you can see here, I've got arm one is delivering the distilled water using Nate's suggestion. I am making the the line of the two of the salt water salt water salt with two of the distilled water that I take one salt off of after they're connected. Um, I have this triplex bond here for gluing the vitae in the correct position. Um, and then one arm up here is taking one more distilled water and turning it into salt and breaking up each of the three salt atoms to deliver to arm four, which makes the vitae and mores and discards the mores. Arm five is going to grab the extra, is going to deliver the vitae and grab the one extra salt to make the four salts for two vitae and then deliver the second vitae. And then arm two down here is going to rotate the entire molecule so both vitae's can go into position. All right, that's what I'm doing. Um, right, so arm two ought to grab in time to start spinning when arf, arm five releases. There. And... That's the plus direction. I wish the notation were a little bit clearer for the plus minus and loops. Um, okay. That drops off. Let's see where all of this shenanigans -ing has got me. Okay, rotate the other way. Uh, maybe 
delay a couple cycles on that whole rotation thing. I could probably calculate how long I need to delay, but... Meh. I'm happy enough doing it by trial and error. And there we go. Um, obviously, it's looping too soon. Okay. So arm four... Or you need to go up again and discard one of the one of these moors. This entire thing's actually on a lower left diagonal, so I might rotate the entire map at the end just for better gif. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick a clock in here just for simplicity. We'll see if I need a clock at the end. Oh. Arm five. You rotated once to the left here. You needed to rotate twice to the left. Apparently you need to slide the other direction, which I guess makes sense. Okay. 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 So... I need to figure out when that clock goes. All right. Okay, I'm gonna look to see. All right, so this atom is going to be here. So, the conflict would happen here, at this fourth cycle. So I need to make sure that this rotation happens, that this rotation happens on one, two, three, four. I want to rotate this whole thing this way so that it is more aligned and I want to put this symbol somewhere appropriately aesthetic which I think is actually going to be a little bit down to the left of the final product. Okay, let's see what this ends up get this leaves me with. Oh, mm -hmm. Arm four screwed up. Right. Arm four grabbed one cycle too early here. There we go. Okay. That means Arm 4 should be able to deliver its moors into the trash can, and I lost a bond somewhere? There. 
So I think this needs to happen one cycle later and rotate the other direction so it doesn't accidentally cut a bond. Yep. There we go. Okay. Okay, thank you, Nate. And, uh, yeah. Very many arms running in parallel, but there we go. I am not going to try to optimize on stream. It takes long enough to solve these things already. Oh crap, I forgot to give this thing a name. What it? How do I describe this thing? I'm just going to call it Vitae or something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is our anti-melancholic. What do we want to, um, let me go ahead and stop recording for YouTube, hi YouTube, and then start recording with figuring out the next thing. <laughs>